how do you install Nexus Mod Manager and how do you set it up correctly for your game? Those are the questions I'm going to answer in this video. Before we begin, I would like to reiterate something I said in the introduction, and that is this series is aimed at beginners. It is a beginner's guide to Nexus Mod Manager, and as such, I will be going quite slowly. I will be going into quite a lot of depth. Bear that in mind when following this series. So let's get this whole thing started by installing Nexus Mod Manager. Fairly obviously, the first thing we need to do is download the file and you can actually find it on pretty much any page on Nexus Mods. So the main page or even the Skyrim page, there will always be a link at the top. And if you click this link, it will take you to the download page for Nexus Mod Manager. Once there, you'll see a download button for Vista, Win 7, 8 and 10 at the moment. And you just click on it and it will start downloading. It may give you a warning saying this may harm your computer because of course it is an executable. It will not harm your computer. Don't worry, just click keep. And that is it. It should only take a few seconds. It's not a very large file. Now I downloaded mine to the desktop just to make it a little easier to see. But of course you may have downloaded yours to a special download place. You're going to need to find that file before we can continue. And all you need to do is double click on that file, if you get a security warning, just tell it it's okay. Run. Yes. And then select the language you're going to use during the installation. Click OK. This will install Nexus Mod Manager 0.6010 on your computer. Obviously, the version number will vary depending on which one you've downloaded. Click Next to continue. Accept the agreement, although I do recommend actually reading the full agreement before you do this. So take a few seconds to read that. And once you've done that, click Next. Depending on what version has been released, you will get a little message telling you, you know, what has changed, the release notes. And if you are updating from a previous version, this is probably very important stuff. You should read it. I recommend reading it anyway, even if this is the first time that you've installed this tool. And once you do, click Next again. Then you need to select the place you're going to place this tool. Now, it doesn't really matter where you place Nexus Mod Manager, in my opinion. I'm quite happy with it in program files. The only reason the installation directory might be important is if you've installed Nexus Mod Manager before. If you install it to the same folder, you will keep the same configuration. If you install it to a different folder, you will have a completely new config, so it will be like a totally fresh installation. On a related note, it's worth talking about where you've got your games installed. I always have my games on a separate drive to my programs, and I never put my games in program files. This is something I recommend you start doing if you want to mod your games. Do not have games in program files. This includes Steam. If you've installed Steam to program files, my honest recommendation to you is move it. Move it to at least a separate folder, perhaps on your C drive called games, or a totally separate drive if you want, if you get a, an SSD just for your games. The reason for this is program files often has some extra security. This folder often has some extra security, and you may get issues when modding the game later on. You may. Usually you can get around it by running tools in administrator mode, but it's just a little easier to, to not have the games there. Don't panic too much if that's where your games are. You can actually move them if you search for how to move Steam games. You will find the Steam support for this. But again, it's not absolutely essential. It's just what I would consider a good practice. However, for the actual tool itself, Nexus Mod Manager, you can leave it in program files without any worries. The usual question as to where you want the start menu folder, click next or don't create a start menu folder if you don't want one. And then I would recommend leaving all of these as a default. Creating a desktop icon will place the icon on your desktop somewhere. And the other tasks, these are associating all of these files with Nexus Mod Manager. I definitely recommend you leave all of these selected and then click Next. 
you will get a quick confirmation box and then hit install and it will install itself. You then get some information that it asks you to read. And again, I do generally recommend you read these things before clicking next. And that is all there is to it. The installation process is now finished. You can now finish and launch Nexus Mod Manager if you wish. When you first start Nexus Mod Manager, it will actually start to search through all of your games, looking for games that it supports. As you can see, it's already found Skyrim, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 3, The Witcher 2 and The Witcher 3 for me. And I can in fact confirm, just click the tick icons, confirm that those games are the games that uh, I want it to support. If this process is taking a little longer than you'd like and you know one of these games is a game that you want the tool to support, you can actually click stop searching and then manually go along and tell it exactly where to find the game. I have found this is generally not necessary as the, the games are found pretty quickly. And once you're happy with the games that have been chosen, you can just hit the quick start up and it will take you on to the game selection option. It is actually perfectly acceptable to select only one game or perhaps two. So perhaps I want Skyrim and The Witcher 3 to be handled by Nexus Mod Manager, but not Fallout 3 and not Fallout New Vegas. So if I click stop on those, so I do not want them. Now I've only got these two games selected, Skyrim and Witcher 3. If I go to Quick Start Up now or OK, either is, either is OK, it will actually lead to the same place. I've only got those two games selected. In actual fact, you don't even have to click the red X's. You can just choose the games you want to support, for example, and then go straight to Quick Start Up. It'll save you a few extra clicks. And don't worry if you made a mistake at this point or actually want to add new games later on. It's very easy to do. You just click rescan installed games once more and click OK. And it will go through the process once more. So it's time to choose the game that we're going to mod with Nexus Mod Manager. And I'm going to use Skyrim as my example. So I'm going to select Skyrim and I'm going to click OK now. If I don't want Nexus Mod Manager to ask me which game each time I run it, I can tell it to, you know, don't ask me next time. And the next time I run Nexus Mod Manager, it will run straight into Skyrim. Don't worry if you do select this, you do have the option to go back and change the game and even turn this off. So I'm going to do that for now. Click OK. You will probably see a message telling you that it's going to set up some paths where Nexus Mod Manager will store archives and the mods and that type of thing. And it may also warn you that if you have been using a previous version of Nexus Mod Manager to mod your game, it will have to revise your folder settings. That is only applicable if you used a version of Nexus Mod Manager that predates 0.6. And that is out of the scope of this video. I'm going to be working on the assumption that you have not installed Nexus Mod Manager before, or you are upgrading from a version that is 0.6 or later. If that is not the case, I will leave a link down below to a video where I show the migration process. So you should just click OK and you will get this window asking you, well, it will actually suggest some paths. The default paths it chooses will reside on your game's hard drive. So for example, I have Skyrim on my F drive, which is an SSD, a fast SSD. And it defaults to slash games, slash Nexus Mod Manager, slash Skyrim, and then mods and install info. There is also a virtual install folder, which has a similar path, only it's slash mods. Now I'm going to deal with the virtual install first. This is the folder that Nexus Mod Manager will use to place the files the game needs, the modded files that the game will load. Now you can move this folder to wherever you like, although they highly recommend you do not change the drive. So for me, Skyrim is installed on the F drive. The virtual install should also be on the F drive. 
Don't change that unless you really know what you're doing and that is out of scope for this video. So I'm going to leave this exactly as it is. These two folders on the other hand, they, well, the first one is where the downloaded archives will be stored. So when you go to Nexus and download a file, it will be placed in this folder. The same is true if you download it from somewhere else and you add it to your game uh, via Nexus Mod Manager, it will store the archive in this folder. The installation information, the, you know, the knowledge about which files it's placed where, will be installed on this folder. You can see they're quite close to each other. These folders can be anywhere you like. And this is quite a good thing because, of course, some of these files will be massive. And if you've got, say, a fast SSD for your games, you're going to need the virtual install to be on that particular drive. But perhaps you want the backup stores, the archives, stored on a slow, standard hard drive somewhere else. You can do that. That You can leave these exactly where they are. They will work just fine. But if you want to move them to another folder, you can do so. I am actually going to do that because I like to keep them on separate folders. I'm going to click this. And I'm going to... Go to computer. I'm going to store it on my D drive, which is where I tend to store all of my modded files. This is actually an SSD for me, but I like them separate. I'm going to put it in Nexus Mod Manager. It's going to be in there. And I'm going to put it in Skyrim. I'm going to make a new folder under Skyrim called Mods. And as you can see, it's changed. I could have actually typed that in here and it will create it. So in fact, if I want the install info to be quite close to it, which I do, I can select all that, right click and copy or control C, select all that, right click, paste or control V. And now I have this on my D drive, Nexus Mod Manager, Skyrim Mods, Nexus Mod Manager, Skyrim Install Info. So it will store these in those folders. And once you've got those paths set the way you like it, if you wanted to change them, hit the finish button. You should get a message asking you if you want to set up categories for Nexus Mod Manager based upon the categories that Nexus uses. I would recommend you do this. You can select no and organize the categories yourself, but at the moment I would recommend you let Nexus organize them as they are there for now. You can change them at a later date, so it's not a problem. Click yes, and that's it. You actually have Nexus Mod Manager now opened for Skyrim. I can open this a little so I can see a little more. And that's it, you have now installed it and set up the paths correctly. So I've now got Nexus Mod Manager open for Skyrim and I've actually got it defaulting for Skyrim. So if I actually close this, and open Nexus Mod Manager again, it will jump straight to Skyrim. But as I told you before, you can actually change that behavior from the Mod Manager tool itself. If you go up to the top right-hand corner and click this icon, you can change to any of these games, excuse me, or change the default game if you like, select that, and uncheck Don't Ask Me Next Time, click that, it will go to Skyrim. Now what will happen if I close this and open it, it will keep asking me because I deselected this, I will once again select it. And if you really want to, or if you need to, you can click here and rescan the installed games just in case you've got a new game that you would like Nexus Mod Manager to handle. So we now have Nexus Mod Manager installed and set up to mod our game of choice. But don't worry if you made a mistake during the setup process or you want to change some of the settings. You can actually do that pretty easily. So for example, if you go along to the tools icon and click it, you can actually change the virtual folder. Uh, I'm going to leave it exactly as it is, but if you want, you can change this to be whatever you need. I'm gonna press cancel. And there are some other settings to be found here under the settings icon. A lot of this is stuff you probably don't need to change right now. 
You can, for example, change the server you're going to download from. I'm going to leave mine at the default for now. If you're a premium member, you can select one of the premium servers to get faster downloads. Supported tools, I will discuss this in another video. And the mod directory and install info that we set up during the installation process, you can actually change here. The only thing left to do really is to make sure that Nexus Mod Manager can log into the Nexus site so that you can download mods automatically. It's a very useful feature, and I'm going to do that now. As you can see down here, I am currently not logged in. I'm going to click on this icon here, and it will ask me for my login credentials. This is the username and password you use when logging into Nexus. If you haven't actually signed up for Nexus yet, you're going to need to do that. Don't worry, it is free. There is a premium option, but you don't have to actually um, select that. You can select a free option. You will need a Nexus account if you want to use this feature. And I do highly recommend it. Nexus is still the biggest modding site out there. Once you've typed in your username and password, hit the login button and it should tell you you are logged in. You'll see a nice green icon. Oh, and this does not mean you cannot download mods from other sites. Just because you're logged into Nexus, you can stay logged into Nexus, download mods automatically from there, but you can still use Nexus Mod Manager to install mods from anywhere as long as they come packaged in the expected format. Nexus Mod Manager does receive the occasional update, especially after a new feature has been released. Perhaps there's a bug fix, perhaps there's a new game supported, Whatever the reason, it is a good idea to keep this tool up to date. And doing so is very, very easy indeed. Just go along to this button up here marked Update Nexus Mod Manager and click on it. If it detects a new version available, it will tell you and it will ask you if you want to download it. If so, click OK. It will download the new version. It may ask you for a security check. Select the language. And it'll tell you that it's detected Nexus Mod Manager running. Close it. Yes, please. And hit OK. And then you just go through the installation process exactly as you did before. Accept the agreement. Read the release notes. Make sure... I would install this in the very same place you installed the, the other version. That way it will actually overwrite it. Click Next. Next. Leave everything the same. Quick check of that and install. Pretty much the exact same thing you did when you installed. And you're done. You can now launch Nexus Mod Manager and it has the latest version installed. You may even find Nexus Mod Manager occasionally checking by itself. It will give you the same warning and you can either decide to click OK or cancel depending on whether or not you're ready to update. If you're not ready to update, just click cancel. Don't worry, it doesn't stop you from repeating the process when you are ready. And that is about it for this video. You should now have Nexus Mod Manager successfully installed and set up correctly for the game of your choice, and you should know how to update it as and when required. In part two, I'm going to show you how to install mods using Nexus Mod Manager, and I hope you can join me for that. I look forward to seeing you there. And until then, remember, as I said in the introduction, the most important thing, have fun.